Hi guys, welcome to NCBI session of data submission. Uh, this is part three, and this part we will discuss about uh, bank tool of NCBI. And part two, I have discussed about the kind of data we can submit via submission portal GeneBank. And uh, you know, in NCBI database, uh, we have different tools for different kinds of sequence data. And I have listed all these tools on this page. You can see here uh, in part 2 I have briefly discussed each of these tools but today we will talk about Bankit. Uh, we will know what is Bankit and the type of data we can submit uh, through this tool and also uh, it is important to uh, understand uh, what kind of information you need to prepare before you start submission through Bankit. So what is Bankit? Bankit is a web-based tool designed to complete the submission process using computer and internet connection. So you need uh, internet connection and a good browser to complete the data submission process through Bankit. And here I have listed the kinds of data uh, you can submit through Bankit. So you can submit uh, single sequence or multiple sequences and also you can submit uh, complete or partial sequences through Bankit and the Bankit recommend you the size of sequences and these should be greater than 200 nucleotides. There are some exceptions but generally uh, you need uh, the size should be greater than 200 nucleotides and here I have listed the, all the items. Uh, you can submit genomic DNA. Uh, these include protein coding genes and regulatory elements or regulator genes. And also you can submit transcripts such as mRNA and nuclear RNA, uh, internal transcribed vessel, microsatellite markers, and small genomes from organelles such as mitochondria, uh, chloroplast, and other plastids. And artificial sequences, uh, sequences obtained from cloning, you can submit through Bankit. And finally, you can submit third-party assembled or annotated sequences uh, through Bankit. So you need some important information to prepare uh, before to start submission process through Bankit. Uh, first you need account to sign in to the Bankit and then uh, you need to know the sequencing technology. Uh, most of the time you can submit the sequences uh, that comes from Sanger technology or traditional technology but you can also submit uh, next generation sequences but these must be assembled. Uh, you can't submit uh, raw rates uh, through Bankit. And third, uh, the organism name. So it is important, uh, you know, from where, when, and how you uh, obtain the organism and what type of organism you have used for the sequences and whether it was culture or uncultured. And then you need molecular type and location where your sequences represent genomic regions or mRNA or extranuclear regions and uh, you need the format of sequences you will submit through Bankit so the Bankit only accept the sequences in FESTA format so you need to understand uh, how to make the FESTA file of sequences and also uh, you need to understand uh, your sequences are partial or complete so and finally the biological meaning of the sequence so uh, whether uh, what gene your sequence represent whether it is intron or exon i hope this short session of pink it is useful for you please like and click on the subscribe button for more upcoming videos